Let's see if we can go on with it. I mean, it's very long with it. And uh, we're here to talk about more than just the coronavirus. <coughs> uh, as we gather today to give you a very full and detailed briefing about what Texas is doing to prepare for the coronavirus and to keep Texans safe, uh, we're all <coughs> dealing with another uh, challenge as we speak. It deals with a, a busted water main in Houston, Texas, that's causing serious problems uh, for the Houston and Harris County area. I want you to know that the uh, Texas Division of Emergency Management Personnel, they are on site at the City of Houston Emergency Operations Center. I have requested state agency personnel to coordinate with both city and county officials to fulfill any unmet needs. State personnel are ready to respond to any request for assistance by local officials. We anticipate the following needs to arise. One is for water. Another is for personnel to help set up points of distribution to provide that water. The Texas Commission on Environmental Quality is ready to assist city and county officials and leaders uh, with any water quality issues. And the Texas Department of Transportation uh, is ready to assist with any road and or rail transportation based issues. Now on to the coronavirus. And uh, so you'll know I'm going to provide you a detailed explanation of what Texas is doing. And then uh, I will have uh, Admiral Knight from the CDC make a few comments and then we will open it up for questions. Uh, first is I just uh, got off a telephone call with Vice President Pence who as you know has been placed to be in charge of dealing with the coronavirus issue in the United States. He provided me an update uh, about what the federal government is doing, the ways that the federal government will be working uh, with state governments, uh, as well as uh, how we can collaborate together to make sure that this is going to be uh, aggressively dealt with. And so I want to express my gratitude uh, for both the vice president as well as the president uh, for the way that they are stepping up uh, to respond to this and to assist us at the local level. The Texas uh, state agencies have been working on this uh, for well over a month now. I want to give you a detailed explanation of all that the state has done. Uh, DSHS, uh, the Department of State Health Services, is the lead agency in the state's response. DSHS is working closely with the Texas Division of Emergency Management to coordinate and plan for the state response to COVID-19. DSHS and uh, the Texas Division of Emergency Management are working with other state agencies as well as local health departments and health care providers. Uh, DSHS activated the State Medical Operations Center on January the 31st. Uh, that center serves as a touch point for any request from local entities and also ensures consistent collection, tracking, and reporting of public health activities and data. The Texas Division of Emergency Management is helping to coordinate the response and numerous state agencies that are available to assist when called upon. DSHS is uh, preparing the state laboratories within the laboratory response network to administer the uh, uh, coronavirus test. DSHS has coordinated with the Texas Education Agency, Texas Commission on Jail Standards, the Higher Education Coordinating Board, as well as other state agencies to notify their local partners and institutions regarding steps that can be taken to mitigate against the virus. DSHS leads daily calls with public health authorities and health care providers to ensure communication is flowing from the state to local providers. These calls have included five to six hundred people per call and they begin on January the 24th. DSHS leads weekly calls with county officials and higher public education institutions to ensure that our local communities and schools are equipped with the information necessary to mitigate the spread of this virus. DSHS leads separately a daily call with San Antonio city officials. As you know, there are some people in San Antonio 
involving this situation. So they are dealing with the local emergency management and the local public health department to foster constant state and local communication and, and to plan for the current and future needs of San Antonio to augment the federal repatriation mission at Lackland Air Force Base. DSHS is updating public health response plans to be prepared for the possibility of community transmission of COVID-19 in Texas. I'm not saying that's happening. I want you to know that we're just preparing for any possibility. DSHS established a web page specific to COVID-19 to share up-to-date information regarding the rapidly changing situation. DSHS is encouraging other state agencies to refer those with questions to the web page or DSHS personnel to ensure messaging regarding the state response in uh, to a state response across agencies. I talk about this web page. I don't have it down here. Where are you? Where's, what is the web page address? It is uh, dshs.texas spelled out dot gov forward slash coronavirus. One more time. dshs.texas d e x a s dot gov forward slash slash coronavirus. And that is a location where local officials as well as individuals in Texas can access to learn more about this. Yes, sir. Great. Um, and then uh, DSHS, the Governor's Office, the Texas Division of Emergency Management, the Texas Department of Public Safety participate in White House, uh, Federal Health and Human Services, uh, as well as CDC updates related to COVID-19. The next is the Texas response to the federal repatriation efforts and this information will be uh, augmented uh, by Admiral Knight shortly but <clears throat> Texas DSHS established capacity at the Texas Center for Infectious Disease in San Antonio to reduce pressure on local hospitals and that capacity includes 22 negative pressure rooms that are sealed off from the rest of the facility FEMA camps what do you just 